if you want to conserve your battery as much as possible, either when you're idling or as well when the battery should be off and you're away from the car, you know, it's still going to be sucking power. So let's reduce it as much as possible. I'm Dave Relax, so uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so for all these wonderful videos on my ID4. This is the vehicle button. Let's click on that in the main menu. And we're just going to load our idle amount. So I'm 0.2 kilowatt hours per hour. That's how much battery life I'm using uh, when the car is just chilling right now. And I highly recommend you start here and pay attention to that number on your ID4 because we can lower it. And, you know, might not be by a lot, but every little bit counts. So first off, just go down, lower the brightness on your screen. Also go to dark mode. So do you see much of a difference between this or that? No, I, I actually don't. I see it more so over here. I've gone now to 0.3. Why? Also, my LEDs are on in the front. We're going to go ahead and turn off auto. And then we're going to click on the mode. Kick those off. Why do you have them on? My air conditioning is not running. I know it kind of stinks, but turn it off. Or you can always, if you want it to be on, keep it on fan mode only so get rid of that ac it's running with the fan right now internally let's go back we're still at 0.2 so that's nice turning max ac on even on the lowest setting let's see what it does so now we're at 1.3 kilowatt hours so a lot of energy being wasted right now now on the radio and media, there's actually this sensor, the font favorites, player, radio, all that text will appear as you get closer, right? That's a sensor, turn it off. Screen. Animation when finger near screen, so get that off. And of course, with the radio, make sure you've turned down the volume. Don't have it that loud, okay? So the louder you go, the more energy you're going to be using. And with that, go to sound and now turn down the bass. Bass uses more energy than treble. Now there's goodbye tone as well in the volume settings right here. You can turn that off fully as well because, you know, once you're out of the car, why do you need to know that you're out of the car? You're, you're physically out of the car. So if you turn down these audio notifications, again, less energy could be used. Do you like Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto? I'm sure you do. In App Connect, you can connect your devices, all that fun stuff. Or you could just not do that. Don't do that. Just use the car's infotainment screen and all of its wonderful settings and such, and uh, you'll be better off. Especially down here, if you're wirelessly charging your phone, remove it. If you have your USB cables connected, remove them as well. Let's go to the other list. We've got ambient lighting. It makes our car look cool, right? But do we need it? No. Got to turn it all off. I know it stinks. So make sure, you know, you go to the lowest setting. There's different zones and sections. You can change this guy or the arm ones or even the feet as well just click around on the screen you can probably turn off the rear bench seat reminder i think that's if somebody's sitting in your car right and you just kind of leave them in the back seat and don't take them out is that correct one of the other features in settings and then voice operation well why do you need to say hey id see it's listening right but is it all that useful of a feature no it's not turn it all off turn it off so the car can't hear you sorry id Right below that, we also have Wi-Fi. Are you crazy? Why do you need Wi-Fi? You got a cellular data plan, right, on your phone? So the infotainment system as a hotspot, turn that off. That's crazy. Underneath that as well, mobile devices. Okay, so I've already attached my phone. It can connect via the cord or Bluetooth, right? But Bluetooth has to be on, typically speaking. Wait a minute, Bluetooth being on? Get rid of it! In vehicle, go to exterior swipe to left swipe to left go to central locking 
get rid of keyless access. All right. So that's the idea of you don't need to unlock your car. It'll just automatically unlock your car and you can do whichever particular door you want to be unlocked, I believe. And then uh, with that, usually it'll kick on like the air conditioning because it's like trying to prep you for uh, your adventure. But, you know, you don't want to be running the AC when you're not in the car. And sometimes you, I have have found that I'll have the key in my pocket and the car will just kick on. But I wasn't planning on going in the car. I was just walking by the car. So, again, that'll just kill your battery. Again, in vehicle, let's look at the exterior. We're going to look at exterior lights. This is the display, the duration of the exit light or the entry light. You can turn it to off. Or, you know, you can have it play for five seconds if you want. But the longer that it's on, the more battery life it's going to kill. There is rain sensing for headlights too. So you could turn that off. And then there's rain sensing for the actual wipers. And you can turn that off as well. Automatic wiping during rain. Turn it off. Now in the interior mode, you can turn your ID light all the way down for brightness. There are also basic functions like pulsing. So you can just turn these off if you'd like to. And then under navigation, you can turn the direction off or lane guidance off. Again, whenever it can blink and pulse, just turn it off. Infotainment, all these, turn them off. Oh, and then go to mode and then make sure you're always on eco mode. If you really want to be wild and crazy, go to the My VW app, click on that dot, 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 manage vehicle, notifications, and uh, just like turn off all notifications. I mean. Any notification being sent to the cloud, I guess, comes from your battery, right? On your car, telling uh, the cloud, hey, something's up. So turn off the notifications. All right, well, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope I also hit every aspect of this particular car that you can do to reduce that power consumption and conserve it as much as possible. If you have any other recommendations yourself, let me know in the comments section below. And uh, I'll talk to you all in the next video. See ya.